Coach Riley back from from down sixteen there, but but still fell short. I guess just your overall thoughts on the on the game there. Yeah, disappointed in our defense for sure. Um, in both halves, thought the game got away from us kind of in the middle section. Um, you know, we we did play hard down down fifteen or sixteen, whatever it was, and gave ourselves an opportunity to try to put the game into overtime. Um, you know, but but fifty points given up, even though we scored fifty one. Um, defended and fouled um, too much and, uh, you know, give Vanderbilt credit. Uh, they played extremely hard for, for 40 minutes. Eric, you guys got off to a pretty good start. Hit 7 to 10, up by 10. Then it was a 1 for 17 stretch to end the half. Their zone seemed to give you a lot of issues. What do you think happened during that 1 for 17 stretch? Yeah, we just we, – we weren't drawing free throws. Um, you know, even though we went to the line – uh, 31 times tonight and uh, I mean you saw the shooting percentage from three against a zone you've got to be able to make some open open threes and we didn't we didn't do that zone do you think y'all might have settled too much maybe you didn't look from a Kai enough or do you think the shots were there they just didn't fall yeah I, I, I mean both you know we gotta you know our bread and butter is still we've been pretty good against teams that, that have played zone tonight shots didn't fall and uh, they kept the lane pretty compact and uh, tried to force us to, to beat him from over the top. Bad as things were, like, like KB was just saying, you guys are one possession away. How, how frustrating is that when you fight back and can't quite, you know, finish it off the comeback? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we lost a close game that we had, you know, the ball to, with the opportunity to potentially put it into um, overtime, but we didn't make that. And we put ourselves in that position because of our lack of, of, of defense, uh, you know, for, for, in my opinion, most of the game. Eric, I think on the pregame show, you mentioned, you know, number zero, number two, and number five is kind of the, the trio for Vandy. And how disappointing is it that all three of them kind of went off and had, you know, almost 20 points apiece? Doesn't happen much with our, you know, the way that we prep, and, and uh, tonight it did. So, as I've said, I'm, you know, disappointed in our defense. Uh, Coach, the uh, man John's run, I guess, late first half, and then I think he had a couple buckets early second half. Just how important was was that stretch? For yeah, I mean, he's a really good player. He's got good quickness. He's got a great pull-up game. He understands who, is, who he is as a player, doesn't force the issue. Um, really experienced. I thought he had a heck, heck of a game. Yeah, Eric, it's 22.9 22 seconds left. You're down three. Lawrence misses two free throws, which is exactly what you need, and then Lubin gets the, the rebound, a three-point play. How about how much of a killer was that and how frustrating is that when yeah we just got to come up with the with the rebound you know and we didn't um you know lubin kind of snuck in between jd and l and um i mean we just watched it i don't know if there was any contact once he got the ball um because i watched it before i came in here um but it got called and and uh turned into a three-point play so Speaking one more part. Yep. Just, you know, KB, I thought for such a tough loss was pretty positive, you know, as he, as much as you could be said, Hey, we're going to sit together. We got games left. We got the tournament. Just, just how do you feel moving forward? Yeah. I mean, we, we got to get ready for uh, Kentucky and, and then, and then LSU and, and then Bama, you know, and whoever else we play, if we have more than that, I don't know, but we got to get ready for each and every game. Um, you know, Get back to the drawing board and we'll start working on Kentucky tonight.